Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushi Kara Setia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. So in this video we are going to learn how we can add element of form submissions to keep CRM as contacts automatically. So let's take an example that you own a tools and travels business and you have embed an element of form on your website to capture the leads. Now you want that whenever a customer fills that particular form, automatically the same customer should be added as a contact in your Keep CRM account. So this will be helpful in maintaining good relationship with your customers for the follow up purposes or if you want to contact them in the future for sharing promotional messages and offers and even for converting the leads into your customers on time. So for that we need to create a connection between Elementor form and Keep CRM so that whenever the form is filled automatically the customer is added as a new contact in Keep CRM. So in order to create an integration between both these software applications we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating both these software applications automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So first we have to create an integration between Elementor form and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect is going to capture all the details of the customer whenever the form is filled. And using the details of the customer, automatically a new contact will be created in your Keep CRM account. And in this way, we are going to learn that how we can create an integration between Elementor form and Keep CRM using Pabli Connect. So let us learn the integration process now. For this, let us type pabbly pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. You can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this option and you will get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as add element of form submissions to keep CRM as contacts. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want to add the element of form submission details to keep CRM. So open this trigger window and here in the choose application, let us find element of forms. In the trigger event, we have to select new form submission. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions are also mentioned. So by following these instructions, we can set up the webhook URL in the element of form. So I'll just copy this webhook URL from here. I'll take you to my WordPress account. Here we will be moving to the pages which I have already created. Let's click on all pages. Here I have already created some pages. So I'll be using this A to Z tour and travel service page over here. I'm just going to click on edit with Elementor. Okay. So this is my web page named A to Z tour and travel service where I have embedded the form to capture the leads. So I'm just going to click on the uh, fields over here. That is the first name. And here we can find the form fields. Let us minimize the form fields. And here we can find actions after submit option. Click on it. Here we have to add an action. Click on this plus sign and add the webhook over here. And as soon as we add the webhook over here, we can find a webhook activated over here. Just open the webhook and here it is asking for the webhook URL. So here we have to paste the same webhook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect and simply click on update. Okay, so here the webhook is set. Let's move back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see that it is waiting for the webhook response. 
So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we have to fill up the form on the name of a customer. So I have already opened the form over here. I am just going to fill up the form details over here. Let's give the first name as Shikha, last name as Arya, email address as Shikha Arya, 25 at gmail.com and let's add the mobile number. Let's click on submit. Okay, the form was sent successfully. It means the form has been filled. Now let us check our public connect. And here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the customer are captured over here. Here we can find the first name as Shikha, last name as Arya, email address, mobile number, form ID and the form name. So now we want that using these details of the customer, automatically a new contact should be created in your Keep CRM account. So let us scroll down, come to this action window and here in the choose application, let us find Keep CRM or Infusionsoft by Keep. In the action event, we have to select create or update contact. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Infusionsoft by Keep. Okay, now it is asking for the access. Let's click on allow. Authorization successful. Okay, and now the Infusionsoft by Keep account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here it is asking for the email address of the customer. So we have already got the customer details from the element of form submission over here. So we are going to map all these details now. Okay, let's scroll down. Here we have to map the email address from element of form. Here it is asking how to check for duplicates. So in my case, I am selecting it as email. You can select it as per your requirement. Opt in. Has the person opted into receiving marketing communications from you? Choose yes to send them email through the Infusionsoft. You can select it as per your requirement. Okay, I am keeping it as no. Here you can give the opt-in reason also. Here we have to give the first name of the customer. So let us map it from Elementor. This was the first name. Here we have to map the last name as Arya. Here if you have the job title details, company details or the billing address details, you can map it over here. As we don't have all these details, I am just leaving it as blank. Okay. Let's scroll down. Here we can find the phone details. I am just entering the phone. Uh, that's the mobile number. Okay. I don't have all these links and the details. I am just leaving it as blank. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the responses received. It means a new contact is created in my Keep CRM account. Let's check it. Okay, and here we can see a new contact named Shikha Arya along with the email address. Okay, I'll just open it. And here we can find the mobile number also. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, now we have to check this in the real time. For that, we have to fill up the form on the name of some other customer. So I'm just going to my web page once again. And I'll be refreshing it. And let's fill this form on the name of some other customer. I'm giving the name as Kuldeep. Last name as Jan. Email address as jank11 at gmail.com. Let's add the mobile number. Okay, and submit it. Okay, the form was sent successfully. So we have uh, filled up the form over here. Let's check our contacts in Keep CRM account. We have to refresh it. Okay, and here we can find a new contact on the name of Kuldeep Jain. Here we can find the phone number as well as the email address. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Elementor Forms and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details of the customer through the form submission. And using the details of the customer, automatically a new contact is created in your Keep account. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Elementor Forms and Infusionsoft by Keep using Pabli Connect. 
So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can connect us to this Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video and this video are helpful for you, then please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.